interwebs and welcome back. I'm Shanna and this is I share my life and stories and religious opinions and whatever else I feel like. And today we are back with another Harry Potter Wizards Unite video. And if you're wondering what's going on, why I'm not in my normal background, what the hell's happening here, you should go watch my video where I kind of explain everything. But until then, if you stick around to the end of the video, I'll be sharing some gameplay with you. And before that, we're gonna talk about some changes to the game, some things happening in January, and some upcoming events. So let's go ahead and get into it. So first of all, starting on Wednesday at 12.01 a.m., whatever your local time is, so here in Japan, still Wednesday, 12.01 a.m., we're going to have some changes to what your daily tasks are. Of course, I will actually let me move over so I can pop up the graphics for you guys. Oh no, I just moved the camera. It's fine. Everything's fine. We're fine. Beep, beep, beep. This is a quick reminder to let you guys know that you should hit that subscribe button if you haven't, and if you like the video at any point, go ahead and hit that like button as well. Sorry for the interruption I'm gonna shut up now and let's get back to the video okay <laughs> pop the graphics here from orange wizard if you don't know who orange wizard is definitely find orange wizard on Instagram and Twitter because they make amazing graphics for wizard unite and Pokemon but here we have what our daily tasks are going to look like because they're going to be able to be completed from home as most people cannot reach inns or greenhouses or even fortresses from their home. So the task where we have to dine at an inn two times is going to be changed to use the tonic for trace detection instead and those have been, the ingredients for those have been all over the map. So it should be pretty easy to do that. And then we also have to complete one wizarding challenge, but that is being changed to earn 750 wizarding XP, which you can do just from getting foundables while you're staying in your house and hanging out. Next, let's talk about the April calendar. So from April 7th to April 14th, which is Pacific Standard Time. So we're looking at April 8th, through April 15th here in Japan, we have the Brilliant Event Part 1, Burrow Besieged. Help return Brilliant Weasley foundables, including Ron Weasley and Fred and George Weasley's infamous decoy detonators. And we're going to get into what that event entails here shortly. Community Day is going to be April 18th from 12.01 to 11.59 local time. So this is a play at home edition, which is pretty exciting. We're gonna put your magic zoology skills to the test and help return the Mertlap and other magic zoology foundables. So you'll be able to play it from home instead of doing Community Day out with others. That will be exciting and hopefully pretty easy to do. As we get more details, I will let you guys know. The Brilliant Event Part 2 Borough of Siege is going to be happening from April 21st through April 28th, and that is obviously going to be April 22nd through April 29th here in Japan. We're going to continue to help return Brilliant Weasley Foundables, including Jenny Weasley and the Flying Weasley car for that one. Nature and Nifflers event is going to be happening April 28th through April 29th, and that is going to be a local time event. So it's going to be the same here in Japan as it is everywhere else in the world. And for that event, it will be free magic zoology foundables from the clutches of a new dastardly oddity, the poacher. So that will be an exciting new addition to the game as well. For those of you needing werewolves, the full moon is going to be happening April 8th. So the days surrounding that, make sure you are playing at night so you can get your werewolves. So next, let's talk about the Brilliant Burrow Besieged Event Part 1. This is going to be happening April 7th through April 14th, like I said, or here in Japan, April 8th through April 15th. We have our normal port keys that are going to be one kilometer instead of three kilometers, which is nice for those of us who are staying home. And then all spell energy will be on the map and we'll give out five spell energy. So that's nice if you cannot leave your house and you cannot reach an inn or a greenhouse. This is what we are looking at for the different foundables. We have the young Ron Weasley who will be an encounter. We have the decoy detonators who will be an encounter. Who? That will be an encounter. We have the wizard chess set which comes from the 1.5 kilometer port key. We have Ron's comic book which is an event task. We have the Weasley is our king banner which is an event task and the Pid 
Pidgewidgen, that is hard to say, Pidgewidgen, Pidgewidgen <laughs> Foundable, which will be coming from the Fortress. However, if you are not able to get the Pidgewidgen Foundable from a Fortress because you cannot reach a Fortress from where you are and you cannot leave your home, there will be an ability to get that from the bonus assignment. So stay inside if you can and get your Pidgewidgen that way. Also, if you are concerned about the 1.5 kilometer port key at all, make sure you just keep your phone on you while you're walking around the house because all of those steps do get counted toward your distance, I've noticed. And if you leave your phone open, you might get a little bit of deep GPS drift as well, which will count toward that. So you'll be able to get those port keys opened regardless. This is what we're looking at for the different bundles that you can get, as well as the complimentary gift. Now let's talk about our tasks. So for part one of four, we have to return five Wonders of the Wizarding World Foundables, return three brilliant decoy detonators, and then use the tonic for trace detection one time. You should have a good stock of tonic for trace detection in your arsenal already. However, before the event starts, I would go ahead and start brewing some and you'll find out why momentarily. For part two of four, we have to use the Brufio's Brain Elixir one time, return five high threat foundables or better, and then we also have to earn 2,000 wizarding XP from traces. For part three of four, we have to return seven Wonders of the Wizarding World foundables, return seven brilliant Ron Weasleys, and then brew tonic for trace detection two times. So like I said, if you go ahead and put those tonic for trace detections in before the event starts, by the time you get to part three or four, they should be hovering over your cauldron and you should be able to collect them and get credit for that pretty quickly. For part four or four, we have to earn 3,000 wizarding XP from traces, use tonic for trace detection two times, and then return seven high threat foundables or better. So regardless of whether you're staying home or not, if you have to go out because you're an essential worker or if you're in a place that is not doing self-isolation or quarantining, um, these should be definitely doable at this time and doable in a reasonable amount of time. Here are the Wonders of the Wizarding World foundables that are going to be increased during this event. The amount of the increase, uh, we'll see. They weren't increased that much, I felt, for the last event, but it was an increase for sure. So don't get your hopes up too much, but know that these will be happening more often than usual. Now let's talk about the bonus assignment. So for this one, we have to earn 7,500 Wizarding XP, return 30 Brilliant foundables that is any of the brilliant foundables, return five high threat foundables or better, return one severe threat foundable or better, and then use the tonic for trace detection three times. Again, you should have a stock of those tonic for trace detections totally available for you. The severe threat foundable, at least one of them should be popping up. I've noticed in general they are popping up a lot more than usual, so that's actually pretty nice. The severe threat is going to be the one with the red banner in case you forgot or didn't know or don't remember. And then for the high threat ones, those are popping up a little bit more than usual too, I feel. Um, whether it will be super significant or not, I don't know, but you should be able to do that. I feel like a lot of what's happening with the Brilliant Bit is pretty easy and self-explanatory, which is great because I know a lot of people are self-quarantining and staying home, which is wonderful and what you should be doing if you are able to. And you know, I love that Niantic is thinking about that and considering that when they're planning these events for us. So now let's go ahead and get into a little bit of gameplay for you guys. Let's go. And first up, we have the Brilliant Event Part 1. And once we get logged in, we're staying safe. Did you hear? The Calamity has brought the circus to town. Hang on, Constance. These foundables are from the Circus Arcanus, an exploitative traveling show from the 1920s. It may even have had ties to Grindelwald. Well, if it's that awful, should we be returning things to it? We have to. I'm afraid it might be counterintuitive, but there's no telling what the consequences would be if the foundables weren't returned to their proper place and time. All right, Harry, you right, though.
And first, we had to return three brilliant Graphorn foundables, dine it in three times, and brew a healing potion two times. It was fairly easy to knock those out, so let's go ahead and collect. And collect again. And then we have to defeat five foes in wizarding challenges, use a healing potion three times, and earn 500 wizarding XP from wizarding challenges. Wow, would you look at that guys? Once again, we are ready to collect and move on to part three of four, where we have to perform 10 Elohomora spell casts, return five brilliant Zowu foundables, and obtain three port keys by unlocking portmanteaus. Let's collect some foundables. I never thought I'd see an Oni in person. Circus Arcanus must have been an amazing thing to witness, unless you were actually a part of it. Then eh, not so much. Yeah, probably. We got another little friend to collect or send back here. Oh, that must be a Graphorn. They're terribly strong beasts. I bet this one was used to pull a wagon or something else horrible. And my favorite one from part one of the event, the Zowu! Oh, a Zowu. I've heard of those. They're incredibly fast and can travel a thousand miles in a day. Seems like such a sad life to send it back to. The alternative is that it remains trapped in that whirlwind until some muggle comes across it and violates the Statue of Secrecy, potentially dying in the process. I know, you're right, Harry. I just hate to think of returning that magnificent beast back to a cold cage. Now it's time to collect part three of four and move on to part four of four, where we have to defeat 10 formidable foes in wizarding challenges, earn 1500 wizarding XP from wizarding challenges, and place three circus calamitous runestones in a wizarding challenge chamber. Fortress time! Oh, I know we need to return these foundables, but we're sending a house elf back to a time of slavery. Constance, the house elf has lived his life already. We don't know what that life entailed. Sending these foundables back presents a bit of a moral quandary, no doubt. But we can't know the ramifications of failing to do so. What if this house elf had some unsung role in bringing down Grindelwald? Not sending him back could be disastrous. And we're back and ready to collect part four of four. Look at that battery in the corner. My phone is nearly dead, but you know what's important? Collecting this task, that's what's important. So let's go ahead and collect it. And technically that means we finished part one. However, we do have the bonus assignments, which are Earn 1,500 Wizarding XP from Wizarding Challenges, defeat 30 foes in Wizarding Challenges, obtain 5 port keys by unlocking port mantos, return 30 Circus Calamitous Family Foundables, and perform 30 Alohomora spellcasts. Once again, it's time to collect. I'd much rather be one of the Circus's non-beast performers. At least that fellow could get out and stretch his legs among the crowd. I'm not sure about that. From what I've learned, some of the performers may have been there against their will. And we were able to finish the bonus assignment. So let's collect. And with that, we have officially completed Circus Calamitous Part 1. And we are moving on to Part 2. 
after this brief intervention where we go through the port key and first we're going to explore the port key before collecting anything because I thought it would be fun to just kind of look through and share that with you guys and I hope that you enjoy it. And guess what? We leveled up! Whoop whoop! Level 43. Now, if anybody knows if there was any dialogue after collecting him, uh, please let me know because for some reason I didn't get any. Chanelie, there's a new surge in the Calamity and guess what? The Circus Arcanus has returned! What is it about this particular, rather obscure circus from a hundred years ago that is driving the calamity? For part one of four, we have to return three brilliant Kappa foundables, collect spell energy on the map one time, and use the master notes on one potion. Now, in case you guys didn't know, the Kappa actually comes from a Japanese legend, and I have a whole series where I share different Japanese legends. You can head over to the video on the Kappa that I did well before this event and find out what the real history of the Kappa is. Let's go ahead and collect and collect. And we are moving on to part two of four, where we have to use the tonic for trace detection one time, brew any extimulo potion three times, and dine at an inn three times. Look at that, we finished part two for, let's go ahead and collect and collect again. And now we have to use four extimulo potions of any type, return five brilliant Nagini foundables and earn 750 wizarding XP. Oh, we got a foundable guys. I don't know of a safe way to contain theory flying reptiles, but cramming them together in a cage just seems cruel, not to mention a fire hazard. My apologies, guys. It seems like I must have lost some of my video recording, my screen recording somewhere, because there's a whole lot of stuff collected here that um, I'm not sharing with you. So, sorry about that. As a little girl, I used to adore vintage circus posters. Now that I've finally seen an old-timey circus up close, I think I've lost my desire to go to one. Reports of Circus Arcanus foundables are becoming less frequent. I think we're in the clear with this Calamity Surge. I must say, I find it rather incredible that the Calamity seem to almost be testing our moral fortitude. I wonder what caused that. There has been a lot of discussion among members of the SOS Task Force and even inside the Ministry. People are agonizing over some of the choices we have to make. I don't think it's ever going to feel perfect to return Tom Riddle to Hogwarts right around the time he's learning about Horcruxes, for example, but we have to do it. Any other choice would be irresponsible at best and a catastrophe at worst. And the magical mischief event began. We had to use a tonic for trace section one time, return five foundables of any family, and return ten marauders map foundables. I thought it was really cool how every time we collected a different task from this particular event that we encountered a new trace that we could get a fragment of. So I really, really enjoyed that.
Next up for part 204, we have return 15 Wonder of the Wizarding World foundables, return 10 wanted posters of serious black foundables, and collect two ingredients or portmanteaus on the map. Somewhere in the mix of all of this, we were able to finish part two of the brilliant event and collect. And ta-da! Part two was complete. Moving on to part three of four for the Magical Mischief event, we have return 15 Dark Arts Family Foundables, return 10 Magic Most Evil Foundables, and perform five great spell casts in a row. Then for part 4 of 4, we had to return 15 Ministry of Magic foundables, return 5 Mdora Tonks foundables, and return 15 High foundables. And with that, we were also able to complete the Magical Mischief event. Sorry about all the lost footage, guys. I don't know what happened. And that pretty much wraps it up for this one. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe. And if you don't know what to comment down below, you can leave a lightning bolt emoji for Harry Potter. No one's up on my channel a lot, but it lets me know that you are here. It gives us a chance to chat. And of course, I just love to see your faces down there. If you want another way to help out my channel down below, there are links to my website, member store, and my Patreon. There is zero obligation to check any of those out, but if you want to, you can. Thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. I appreciate all of you so very much, and I'll see you next time. Bye! Oh, hello there. Yes, uh, this is me casually drinking from my Ginky AF merch because, uh, I don't have any bloopers to share. But if you like my cup, or my shirt, or some leggings, or some socks, there's links in the description below. Be Ginky as and enjoy your coffee or tea or water or whatever else you like to drink from mugs.